Welcome to this Linux Mint installation guide for beginners step by step and today we're installing Linux Mint 19.2 Cinnamon codename Tina 64-bit version. Let's take it out. Hey Nimtags and welcome this is Ash from Hinemind Tech and on this channel I want to help you develop a better relationship with tech whether it's using it, upgrading it, repairing it or buying new tech so subscribe and enable the bell icon so I can help you go from newbie to techie. This is going to be a very straightforward installation using one single new drive on a computer and we're also installing using a USB 3.0 on a more modern UEFI and GPT partition system. If those terms are a bit confusing to you, don't worry, we'll explain at the end of the video and this is going to be part 22 of our One PC to All Them All Challenge series, again details at the end. So for this you could need a Linux USB installation drive, we can find details how to do one up here or in the description below. You're going to need a computer, a new drive and also you need internet connection today we're using an ethernet cable okay i've inserted the usb drive at the back port rather the front port and i'll explain the reasons later let's wait for the first beep so what may end up happening sometimes is uh, for beginners you get a beep you get the flash logo screen and then nothing and that's because the correct boot order was not selected let me restart this and i'm going to show you by going into the bios or uefi setup if that's a problem now on my motherboard i need to press f1 or delete key uh, f1 will give me a selection boot order and if you can see here i have a kingston data travel 3.0 map say that two that's the disk we're going to be installing linux onto is a 240 gigabyte drive ssd and then new efi kingston data traveler 3.0 on partition one and then enter setup this is if you know your usb key the name of it and you can select manually the boot order by pressing f11 on my system your will vary now uh, let me go into setup and i'll show you now there's two ways to do this you can go into your boot order by going into settings and then going into boot and then going to boot option one making sure that you've got uefi usb key uh, 3.0 you want the uefi installation as your first boot drive okay the second option is like i showed you earlier let me just uh, reboot this is to just suppress f11 and select the correct boot order which in our case is going to be the uefi usb key there you go i'm going to just select the uefi here and it gives me the option to start linux Mint. that's why i want the first one on top and usually that happens if you have had a different system installed on the computer and now you're trying to install a new operating system in our case we already did windows 10 installation all right so while the uh, linux mint starts this should be very straightforward from this point on remember we already tested this usb live disk and uh, if you go to the top left you'll have install linux mint and click on that double click on that and then this is just a question of following the instructions uh, english yep yeah, i want that continue and uh, english uk as my keyboard layout and english uk is fine if you've got any other weird keyboards this is where you can select that continue uh, tick this box that says install third-party software for graphics and wi-fi hardware flash mp3 and other media do remember you should be connected to the internet for this and then click on continue and now if you have a brand new disk and no other operating system the easiest thing is to let the default erase disk and install linux mint because right now it's saying that this computer currently has no detected operating system that's because i removed or disconnected the windows 10 drive so that's fine just click on install now and uh, you're good to go it's going to give you a warning that it's going to do some changes to the disk which is fine and our disk is named sda all right and it's going to be creating partitions part one and two and you want to click on continue and now where are you just select yeah i'm in london and your name this is where you want to put your username and the computer's name if you want so i'm going to call this obviously heal my tech and it's giving me a computer name as in my tech ms7 c02 i don't necessarily want this i'm going to call it um what was it called so let's just call it ryzen 2 700x i'll know what it is 
Username he might take and then password. Obviously you want a decent password. My password is not all that, but this is just for illustrative purpose. And require my password to log in is a lot more safer. So yeah, and continue. And now all you need to do is wait and it's gonna do its thing. In the meantime, go and subscribe to my channel. Okay, that was really fast. It took just about three minutes, give or take. And you can now either continue testing this live USB drive or restart now to finish the installation. I'm gonna choose restart now. And I'm going to deliberately leave the live USB key at the back of the computer because some people forget to do that and we'll see what happens whether will it boot into the live USB key again or actually boot into our new hard drive. The beep and I think it's bypassing the live USB key and there you go because now we have booted straight into my Ryzen 2 700X. Here my tech username, I'm just going to put my password. And uh, there you go. We are hopefully logging into the first initial screen. Fantastic. So you get this little welcome to Linux mint um, box, which you can choose to untick this box if you don't want to see this again. But if it's your first time, you may want to keep this and then give you a bit of tutorial on that. You go through all this lovely stuff. You can literally start using Linux as is, you know, just go around and uh, browse and you have Firefox by default you can quickly check your internet hopefully you're using Ethernet and we should be fine let's go to YouTube uh, very quickly and yeah I don't know if I've got anything uh, connected in terms of sound in this one probably not and that's it that was that easy that fast and that simple and straightforward it's gone much better over the years with the whole Linux platform now if you've got nothing else in terms of a second operating system this is it you need to do certain things like updates after you install but out of the box uh, Linux distributions have gone much better and Linux Mint is one of them there's not much tweaks to do but I'm going to do a follow-up video just to show you what you need to do to personalize the Linux uh, experience a bit more now don't forget also this was the more modern USB 3.0 uh, GPT and UEFI partition system that we installed on if you have an older uh, computer with only USB 2.0 and an MBR partition system, the creation of the USB Linux installation drive is slightly different when you go, you just have to select the correct option. I will do a video on this another time for when we need to revive an older computer. You may have noticed that I did not do a dual boot system. I do not personally like dual boot when I have a choice not to install two systems on a single drive. I prefer to keep them separate. But what we're going to do now is reconnect the previous Windows 10 drive and I'm going to show you how I switch and select the exact drive that I want when I boot up. So we'll off this for now. Shut down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want all this. Close all these tabs and close of this and it's going to shut down my windows 10 is at the front i'm just going to reconnect that give it its uh, sata drive and the power and then we're going to turn the computer on again i also had left the usb port at the back the usb drive in the port i'm going to just take this off just not to have any confusion and we're going to turn this on again now there may be a bit of complications let's see which os does it give us or does it give us an os at all beep oh i got something it's coming hey there you go so by default right now it's going into an x mint but let's say i don't want that i am going to restart this or oh, quit what is this quit why is it giving me quit uh i'm going to restart this time i'm going to press f11 on your computer, it could be something else, could be the F8, could be whatever, you need to check your video manufacturer. Because if I wanted to boot into Windows, there you go, I'm going to select the Windows Boot Manager. Okay? And hopefully, everything working, it should boot into Windows. And, uh, come on, I should be fine, I'm, I'm hoping it's a new computer. And there you go, obviously Daddy Gates is deciding to update my stuff at the moment. The point is, this is how I switch between the two operating systems. 
this is for when you don't do a dual boot this is how i do it you may have a different way feel free to do whatever you feel like doing i prefer this way because i don't switch between os uh, you know in a day or several times i would probably use linux for a long while and then uh, windows for a long while but even if i did this is how i choose to do it okay but there is a dual boot system you can try if you want and that's it now if you're here from the previous uh, series this is part 22 and uh, you, now we've just installed the second operating system we've got the uh, macintosh left or hackintosh rather so which we will do at a later stage so you guys now need to tell me what you want to see next uh, would you want me to just try windows and uh, install all the various uh, normal applications that you guys would need especially for content creation as well or should we just give linux a try like a switch to linux uh, for a good month and try to do content creation from linux instead and the second thing you probably can help me vote as you've noticed this is not a monitor this is my tv i am in the market to buy a monitor and it's such a freaking headache because there's so many features you need to be wary of to give us too many choices i did put a community post uh, you can vote on uh, whether you want a live session or just me buying one or d doing a normal video and then uh, you know you guys can help to buy one and uh, i have contacted a couple of uh, companies i don't know whether they'll get back to me okay so that's it don't forget this was the one pc to all that challenge series i'm back in business uh, so to say so we're going to continue doing our not daily uploads now but more frequent uploads to just kind of uh, make this uh, a lot more user friendly for us okay there you go we we'll booted into windows so now i've got two operating system and uh we'll leave it as that so thank you so much for watching before you go don't forget to subscribe enable the bell notification icon and use my amazon affiliate links in the description below and also check out that video up there and that playlist down here or the other way whichever for more awesome videos on the channel once again this was ash from hilmatic helping you go from newbie to techie until next time peace out